Rick and I have not stopped working all day, but I have to go the extra mile when it comes to beating Taffa. Time to check in and see where he's at. Oh, my God. I feel for you looking at this. I almost want to go help you. What is this? Ceiling. I've been up on the ceiling. I think I bit off too much for... Hang on a minute. Cheers. Cheers, buddy. Look at this. That's a frustrated man. Another beer for Mr. Irvine, please. Maybe he needs two. I'm behind in the kitchen. I'm behind in the front, and I think, honestly, I took too much on. So, uh, I'm in a pretty good place. Yeah. So, as your buddy, I feel terrible for you. As your competitor, I am thrilled to, to hear all of this. <laughs> Cheers. All right, hang in there, buddy. See you later. <laughs> I may be down, but I'm not out. Spin is finally ready for the battle with Sage. We managed to elevate the space in a way that feels cohesive and cool. I'm feeling uh, a little overwhelmed. Uh, just by the fact that, that we were able to accomplish this. Knowing the quality of the food coming out of the spin today, our guests are going to be blown away. We're also transitioning the menu from bar food to quality entrees that can still be made quickly in a small kitchen. To kick the menu off, this is an exceptionally fast dish that creatively combines everyone's two favorite appetizers, nachos and wings. All right, here we go. This is the loaded nacho-style wing appetizer, OK? Instead of chips, it's wings. It's wings under all the goodness. Six beautiful, freshly fried wings that are tossed in a Southwest rub. Mm -hmm. And then on top of that is a chorizo chili, and then a queso sauce. You get your hands dirty. Roll your sleeves up and have fun. Chorizo, you get chili. It's like, it's like nachos with chicken wings. It's good. Everything has a lot of loaded flavors in it, and everything is very tasty. Now for the entrees that are going to take Spin's menu to a whole new level. All right, guys, we have the smoked pork belly and blue Wagyu burger. It's really juicy, deep, rich beef flavor. And then on top of that is the smoked pork belly, the home-cut french fries, OK? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. This is I'm telling you, you won't get a bag of burger in this anywhere in California. I'll tell you right now. Wow. Isn't that good? Very good. Fries are great. This is one of my favorite dishes of all time. Pretty I'm going to cry right now. <laughs> super, super simple, but super delicious, OK? This is all about the tender, loving care of the shore rib, braising it properly, searing it, getting the color. Home cut French fries, it's one, two, three, four things, and you either do it properly or you do not. Oh, no, it's delicious, yeah. A little bit of a tang to it. If you've got Victor in there, it's very hard to find a chef that has great taste. When you have somebody like it, it makes your jobs a lot easier. I would hire him in a heartbeat, me personally. No reason we can't win this. This food is great. I look forward to serving it here. People are going to get so excited. I'm excited about it. Watching their transformation from not believing that we could do something to actually achieving something. And now, seeing the food, they're really excited, they're energetic. Uh, I think they're going to be a force to be reckoned with. We're small, but mighty.